Are you tired? Are you weary? I know it is so hard. No school, no friend, no hanging out. In addition to that, mom and dad are consistently nagging. No? Then you have wonderful parents. I know it is too much for you to handle, especially a teenager like you. I'm so sorry what you have to go through. But I want you to know that you are not alone going through this. No one ever, ever experienced this pandemic before. No one. So we have to go through this. And we will. Let's watch this video. The girl comes to the window and asks me what my order was. I repeat my order and my coffee. Um, order and they asked me to pull up because my food's not ready it's uh, an English muffin meal with a hash brown and coffee and I mean I hadn't eaten since I don't know, probably about I mean I've been up for a very long time but I haven't eaten in a while so I was kind of hungry and I'm still waiting and I'm still waiting and they asked me to pull up so I pull up forward and uh, a girl comes out with my coffee and just the coffee and she hands it to me and at my window down and that's all she hands me is the coffee so I told her I said don't bother with the food because right now I'm too nervous to take it it doesn't matter how many hours I've been up it doesn't matter what I've done for anyone Right now, I'm too nervous to take a meal from McDonald's because I can't see it being made. I don't know what's going on with people nowadays, but please just give us a break. Please just give us a break. I don't know how much more I can take. I've been in this for 15 years and I've never, ever had such anxiety about waiting for McDonald's drive through food. So just have a heart, and if you see an officer, just tell them thank you. Because I don't hear thank you enough anymore. She just broke down. I don't think she broke down because of a sandwich. Or her order was being late. She was simply overwhelmed. She was weary, and tired, and nervous. Do you know what? I see us in her. She was weary after long hours of overnight shift as we all are tired from this stay home quarantine. And she was nervous because what is happening around her as we are nervous by coronavirus. We may break down as she did. I am sure she's a tough woman. That's why she became police officer. But she broke down. It could happen to anybody. Anyone who is weary and tired easily can explode his or her anger and frustration to their loving ones. Could be your parents, could be your brothers and sisters. I'm begging you, please, please calm down. Okay? You're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. Nowadays, everyone is sensitive. So if you are weary and tired, here, listen to what God says. Let's read together Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. You hear? God is calling you and me because he knows we are weary because he knows we are tired and burdened. I want you to experience true rest in God. To do that, you have to come forward to Jesus first. Then you will experience Jesus Christ. See, if you look at following verse 29, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. His yoke means gentleness 
and humbleness. And some other Bible says meekness. It sounded too much to do it, right? But it is not. If you are humble, the gentleness comes out naturally. Humbleness means lowering ourselves. Here, let me tell you, we are not better than God. We are not smarter than God. We are not stronger than God. Let God take care of us. This world doesn't belong to us. It is God's. God will take care of this. Just think, there's nothing we can do during this pandemic period except we need down to pray for His mercy. Let's trust in God's power. Let's trust His plan. I believe that He will remove this disease and this will be ended very soon. Amen? Amen. Amen indeed. Please make sure stay strong and please humble yourself to your parents and brothers and sisters and be gentle. They are the, the most important and precious people in your life. So we're going to go through this together. Please pray more and be armored with God's word. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so weary, we are so tired, and we don't know what to do. The Father, we just heard your voice, and we are not really seeking for your help. We were not seeking for your guidance, and we heard your voice come to you. Yes, we want to come to you, God. We want to come to you to glorify your name, to praise you, Father, so we can experience true peace and true rest. Father, there are thousands, millions of people, they're going through fear and frustration during this pandemic time. But I'm asking your mercy, your blessing to every one of them, Father. Let everyone find you. Let everyone meet you. Let everyone accept Jesus Christ as a Savior, Lord. Father, we ask him for your continuous guidance, your blessing to our family, our country, our people. Father, thank you for giving us Jesus Christ to save us. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.